and the other Alvaro Fernandez in and with centre-back Diego Godin struggling with a thigh injury Mauricio to knock out the United States and Diego, you remember him, the former Juventus centre-back who gave great service to Uruguay over many years forward towards Forlan, he'll actually get to this as well Forlan, it's opening up a little bit here he's uh, got a real choice there'll be a massive audience in South America for this one all those who couldn't get to Africa he helped the uh, try again. He probably get a bit more height on this one. He does. You know the left boot dispatches the ball up uh, beyond Gian. Flight of this Jabalani ball, and there is a spare man at the back in. Le in it goes again, and he ended up fisting the ball straight in the air, and it could actually have embarrassed him and dropped behind him into the net. First quarter of an hour. Forlan for Uruguay. Nice little shimmy to take him away from uh, Kevin Prince Boateng. Oh, yes, it's a bit similar to South Africa in their opening game here. Not been tested, he's hardly touched the ball, and Uruguay are enterprising again with fall, and though he's got absolutely early in the night. 17 minutes played. John Mensa content to just. Uruguay's corner. We'll get a flick on, and it's a reactionary stop from Kingston. He did well, and that's gifted the pass uh, to Cavani. Here comes Forlan. Can't get it through, but there should be a shot here, maybe from Forlan, who's clever at getting shots away, and rattles it wide. Once again, it's Forlan. Ah, a variation, it's short. And then Forlan loops it in. There could be something here, could there? No, Montari to get it in the next 20 seconds, and Montari goes for goal! What did I say? There is Montari who was the one who was up there, instead it's now Cavani, down. but it is cleared, and very safely cleared, not only uh, as far as Forlan, but in good company as well, Chin here. Diego Forlan, a crucial moment in the match for Uruguay! Goal, Forlan! We've seen struck. Needless arm across the back of Victorino, as we see Forlan strike again, we force it through though. It's a much more open game than we saw in the first half. Flicked out by Vorsa, who then makes a total hash of that until Forlan is off and running through the centre. Uruguay is suddenly finding some space, however. Forlan will look for it through the centre. Forlan again, delightful little touch, and he's offside. Forlan pulling the strings, checking inside. Uh, denied it. The shots have been particularly potent. That's a lovely touch from Forlan again against the United States. First thing he'll do is defend against this free kick, which ripples the net. It... Forlan. They'll try and mesmerise the Ghanaians with their movement here. A goal now could prove decisive. And it's just Tatari loses the possession. Can Uruguay prosper from this? It in towards Forlan. It would be uh, seen as a pretty uh, desperate day for South America. And nobody wanting to make an error. Forlan. Abreu's down the centre. That's a good ball from him. Stepping forward now is Perez. Then Forlan, who scampers. And he overruns it. Value. Gets it forward to Forlan, who stoops into the header and is onside. It is Forlan. He'll look to see if anybody can join him in there and will settle for a corner. Seven minutes to go. The scoreline still one apiece and it's beyond Abreu. It'll drop for Forlan. Blasted wide of the angle. From that angle. Now it's Forlan for Uruguay. Their turn to come probably for the last time. Forlan is in the area, one of those up for it. It's going to get the flick in, and Muslera, oh, cleared on the line, and clear this one. People remember Maradona's hands while... Forlan has blown the chance of personal history. Two World Cups. Well, Forlan has got one goal tonight at this end of the stadium as well, he... Struck an exquisite free kick high beyond Kingston into this net. The first kick in the shootout for Uruguay is successful. Forland scores 1 0 Uruguay. 
battle through into the semi-finals. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? He's going to be the first one to use the left foot. Kingston has to save it. They all stand arms around one another. It is a Abreu! It's the cheekiest chip you've ever seen. And it's good enough to take the South Americans into the semi-finals of the World Cup. African hearts are finally broken in 2010. There will be no African team in the last four. There will be the South Americans of Uruguay, twice world champions, but they make it through into the semi-finals after years of trying and...